a lot higher than 36,000. People have predicted 40, 50,000. Greetings, everyone. Today, we have a special guest joining us. Please welcome George Tong, a renowned YouTuber and expert in the world of crypto, Bitcoin analysis, trading, and investment. In this captivating video, George unveils a fascinating revelation. The prominent whales of the crypto and Bitcoin sector are actively accumulating Bitcoin, hinting at potential price appreciation. Furthermore, he discusses the impact of the renowned asset management firm, BlackRock, and how their involvement could potentially skyrocket the price of Bitcoin within a matter of months. Prepare to be captivated by George's expert insights and valuable predictions as he sheds light on these significant developments. This is an episode you won't want to miss. If you're eager to navigate the exciting realms of crypto, Bitcoin, and stocks, it's time to hit that subscribe button now. Join us on this exhilarating adventure towards financial growth and success. Don't miss out. Subscribe, like, and share today. Bitcoin BTC $30,414 will be the currency of artificial intelligence AI, and could reach a price per coin of $760,000 in the process, Arthur Hayes says. In his latest essay titled Masa, the former BitMEX CEO concluded that the AI revolution would naturally gravitate toward BTC. Despite fiat currency regimes being destined to become ever more dysfunctional in future, Hayes says, there is one burgeoning economic sector which will only go from strength to strength, AI. While still nascent in 2023, the coming decades will see an explosion of AI-related implementations, which will make it ubiquitous and unavoidable. Recent advancements in computing power have brought us to the cusp of a hockey stick moment, in which AI will go viral and change the course of humanity virtually overnight. This is all due to, right now, due to ETF fever. Bitcoin ETF does exist in other countries already, like Canada, for example. Um, but in the U.S., it's just massive. All the money's here. Wall Street's here, right? Everyone is looking at U.S. and seeing what the U.S. is going to do. You know, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, no one seems to remember about Gary Gensler, right? Like all of last week, we didn't hear a peep out of Gary Gensler or the SEC. What, what happened to the lawsuit with Coinbase and, and Binance? It seems like no one cares or no one takes it seriously since BlackRock said, yeah, Gary, you know what? We're going to need you to approve our Bitcoin ETF. And since then, everyone's been jumping in and we have another exchange that even got released last week, right? Like I didn't even have time to to look at that exchange. We have a new exchange backed by Charles Schwab and Fidelity and the three other banks, right? That that opened up like all of a sudden on top of all the Bitcoin ETF news. I mean, it's just an onslaught of good things that happen and more, more will be coming. Uh, ProShares already has a future-based Bitcoin ETF, not the same. It's not settled or using real Bitcoins, it's using Bitcoin futures. However, the the volume is exploding right now because everyone wants a piece. That's that's what's happening right now. These big boys all want a piece of the pie. I've been telling you guys for over a year, you know, uh, FOMO is real. It happens to everyone. And a lot of these big boys been accumulating behind the scenes. Why do you think BlackRock all of a sudden wants to offer a Bitcoin ETF? They've probably been accumulating Bitcoin since. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Also, in terms of whale ratio, whale ratio is plummeting. And what is whale ratio? Well, the Bitcoins that's going into the exchanges, okay? When you see a large number of that, um, a large number of Bitcoin coming into the exchanges from whales, that's bad. But when the whale numbers start dropping, that's good. That's good. That means the whales are accumulating and not selling, right? Just like look at what happened in November. Look at that huge drop, right? That was when Bitcoin fell to its low point. And look at right now, we just had a huge drop, meaning the whales are like, okay, we're not going to be selling anymore. We're going to be accumulating and, and buying, right? That, that's what's happening. 
that's what that's what's happening right now july is traditionally a very bullish month very bullish month remember may is supposed to be a bad month and we we went down slightly in may june has been pretty darn good so far but we had to wait until the basically the tail end of june now we're heading into july and traditionally july we see at least a 20 percent bump 20 percent from our thirty thousand will bring us up to about thirty six thousand that's not too bad although there are many that think that we will go a lot higher than thirty six thousand people have predicted 40 50 000 by july 50 percent chance that's pretty massive before it was probably like zero percent because no one thought that gary or sec is going to allow a bitcoin spot etf but 50 percent that's pretty good and keep in mind blackrock is not the only one there's a lot of fund managers and companies that are looking to come out fidelity announced they're doing a spot etf and of course others like arc invest also has theirs and there's just a ton of them a ton of them right and look at all these other big boys like the biggest banks like jp morgan morgan stanley goldman sachs BNY uh, Mellon, Invesco, Bank of America, you know, they're they're either doing Bitcoin ETFs too or doing some kind of service, okay, like crypto trading or custodian or something. They're all involved. When you have $27 trillion of assets under management, just a little bit, just a little tiny bit, 5% of that, if 5% went into Bitcoin, okay, just 5% of all those assets went in Bitcoin, that's around $310,000 per Bitcoin. Micro strategy uh, purchased another 12,333 Bitcoin for approximately 347 million. I just rounded up, yes, 350 million. Okay, average price actually lower than where it is right now. Usually, you know, sailor <laughs> buys high. And then, uh, and then you know, uh, announces it later. I don't know why, but recently he's been buying low, so that's good. So he's in the profit already. At an average price of twenty eight thousand one hundred thirty six dollars, right now, MicroStrategy holds one hundred and fifty two thousand three hundred thirty three. Uh, average price of twenty nine thousand six hundred sixty eight, uh, and total four point five two billion billion. Uh, Michael Saylor is preparing for the future. GBDC, their, their premium discount from, well, before there was a premium. Now there's a discount, okay, versus GBDC is supposed to be tracking the price of Bitcoin right now. There's still a 33% discount, but that is the narrowest gap in over a year. It used to be in the 40s, okay, um, but demand is coming up. The discount maybe narrowing. I mean, if you're thinking, well, what, what does it matter? Can you redeem for Bitcoins? No, you can't. But it just shows you demand for Bitcoin or Bitcoin related stocks, in this case, a trust is heating up. This shows that Bitcoin is heading to 200,000 and possibly beyond. And we're talking about the Wyckoff Wyckoff accumulation, Wyckoff pattern. And here's another one that, that extends it, Wyckoff logic okay and wyckoff is basically this guy from like a hundred years ago that figured out that there's a pattern that stocks go through when there's large whales or institutions that's trying to accumulate and trying to cause people retail people to sell there's certain things that they do for whatever reason right and people figured out a few years ago that wyckoff also can be can be uh, can be seen. This pattern can be seen in cryptos, specifically Bitcoin, because all these institutions, whales, start coming into Bitcoin, right? So if you're following this, this is this is what's coming. All right, we broke out of accumulation stage. We're about to head into the markup stage, and it makes sense because this is leading up to the halving event. Right? But keep in mind, with all the whales and institutions and Bitcoin ETFs that's coming up, right? 
there's going to be so much money coming in. Who knows what this pattern is really going to look like and how high Bitcoin will end up. Even Kathy Wood. Kathy Wood says, you know, first of all, her application for Bitcoin spot ETF is before BlackRock. So she may get the very first one. She may get the very first Bitcoin spot ETF, right? But she's very bullish. Of course, ARK Invest is very bullish, has been for a long time, right? So we'll see. But she also made some changes too. There's something, there's a surveillance sharing agreement that BlackRock put into theirs. And now ARK has done so too, basically allowing CB, CBOEs to kind of track the performance. So basically having someone else look at the volatility, right? And many people think that this little addition is going to make a big difference, right? But if this gets approved, then you know Black Trust will get approved, Fidelity's gonna get approved, and everyone else that has application will get approved. And think about the FOMO that's going to cause. By subscribing to our channel, you'll gain exclusive access to a wealth of knowledge and valuable content that can supercharge your financial journey. Hit that like button to show your support and let us know you appreciate the quality information we provide. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends, family, and fellow enthusiasts. Together, we can empower one another and create a vibrant community of like-minded individuals.